hi guys welcome back again to my channel it's a girl journey today we'll be making stylish butterfly with fringes so let's go ahead to the tutorial these are the materials i'll be making use of that is a plain satin fringes and three years of fabric this is ankara fabric so i'll be folding the the fabric this we have already fold it for the first then i'm folding it again making it double folding and the uh, four layers so this is it double folding and it's four layers i'll be cutting the front and back pattern together so the next thing i'll be doing is to get the gown measurement where the gown will stop i want it to stop at the two inch after knee so this is the length of the gown so the next thing i'll be marking is the shoulder measurement which is eight inches then i'll be getting the sleeve length the shoulder measurement divided by two is eight inches then i'll get the sleeve length then i'll shock there so i'll be cutting this out so i'll go ahead and shock it to be visible so the next thing i'm going to shock is the neck neck width the neck width i'm working with is 3.5 neck width then the neck depth i'll be marking the the back neck depth first this is 1.5 for the back neck depth you can make use of two inches depending on how on the body size so on the sleeve i'll come down by one inch for the shoulder slope i'll connect it to the neck so i'll go ahead and cut the neck out cut the shoulder slope so after that i'll go ahead and cut out this side that i will not be making use of so i'll go ahead and cut it out you can actually make use of the whole material without cutting this out but i want want my own butterfly to be a bit small that's why i'm cutting this out remember your sleeve length determines how big your butterfly effect will be so i'll go ahead and separate the front from the back so this is the back i'll go ahead and pipe it with a bias tape so this is it after i finish piping it this is how it's looking like so go ahead and work on the front pattern so for the front neck i want it to be a v neck so from the initial neck width from the initial neck width i'll come in by one inch on the neck width the plain material that we'll be using for the v we replace this one inch so from the shoulder i'll go down to eight inches you can make use of nine inches depending how how deep you want yours to be so on that point i'll come in by half of an inch
I'll shrug the half of an inch. So from there, I'll connect it to the new neck width. So after that, I will go ahead and cut it. So this is what I have. Let me go ahead and open it up to show you what it's looking like now. This is how it's looking like now. So here is the plain material that I will be making use of. It is 3 inches, 3.5 inches wide. I've gone ahead to add it a step. And the length just cut as much as you can when you finish adding it to the material you can cut out the excess so this is how you'll be placing the plain material then you cross this other side like this So you can pin it down before sewing, but make sure you pin it down before sewing so that you will get it right. So I've already done sewing it. I'll go ahead and notch here just a little bit. Notch the both sides. After which I will flip it over. Remember, this is the place I notched. Make sure that your notching did not cross the sewing line. Flip the flip it this way. So this is how it's looking like. Remember, you can make your own plain material to be more bold. I just choose to make my this like this. So flip the material over this way. You go ahead and sew here. Sew on the material that you notched initially it's coming out here small just stack it after which you cut out the excess so i've already finished stacking there This is how it's looking like. You can go you can go ahead and top stitch it if you like, you top stitch it. If you like, you can leave it like this. So I went ahead to top stitch my Here I'm cutting out the excess.
so the next thing i'll be doing is to bring the back back pattern i'll be joining the shoulders now so here i'll finish joining the shoulders the next thing i'm going to do is to fold it in this way double folding fold all round both the the down parts by the side fold it to be neat this is how it's looking like after i finish folding everything all round so the next thing i'll be doing is to attach the waist belt from the center neck from the center of the neck i will measure from the shoulder i came down by 14 inches that is one inch below the under bust then from the center neck i measure from the center neck this is the center neck that is serving as the middle of the material so i measure bust measurements without adding any inch bust measurements without adding any inch so i'll go ahead and chalk here and chalk the other side this is where i will be attaching the belt so this is the belt i'll be attaching there it's the same plain material i've already gone ahead to turn it sew it and turn it so i'll go ahead and attach the two belts this way so after attaching the belts i will flip to the right side So now I'll be attaching the fringes. I'm attaching it underneath. You can attach on top of the material, but I'm attaching it under this way. So I've done attaching it from end to end, from end to end. So the next thing is to mark the body measurements. Remember, you are marking this particular one on the right side of the fabric because you are sewing on the right side of the fabric. So from shoulder, remember this is the center. The center neck serves at the center. So I'll come down by 10 inches. That is where I will start sewing. I'll insert waist line and hip line also so on that 10 inches that i came down from the shoulder i'll be inserting the bust measurements plus two inches for, for the on the bust side i want the for clothes you remember butterflies are no butterfly gowns are not really a tight clothes per se it's all it's always a boo boo so um i added two inches on the both side for ease so from there i from the shoulder i came down to the waist so i'll be inserting the waist measurement plus two you can use your bust measurement or your hip measurement to run down the stitches that is from the armhole 
down to the hem of the the gown you can make use of your boss i'm um, sorry hip measurement plus the ease you can choose to insert each of the body measurement both boss waist and hip so i'll go ahead and stitch on the lines that i shock 